Hey everybody, I'm Marion, the Inappropriate Artist, and today I'm going to show you how I pack up paintings for sale. I have three different kind of paintings. One is an oil, uh, one is an oil. I don't paint in oil. One is an acrylic on canvas board. One is an acrylic on canvas, and one is a gouache on watercolor paper. So join me today while I pack these guys up. So here I am packing up a painting. This is an acrylic on a canvas board that is in this. So, but I'm tucking in a piece of glassine that I cut to size so that it fits just inside the opening of this frame. Normally I don't ship things framed. However, in this case, um, I had the frame, first of all. One, I had put it in the frame because I was presenting this to a gallery for show. Um, they did not accept it, but immediately following putting it online, it was purchased by one of my collectors. And so, uh, being that it's a canvas board, I did buy cardboard to ship it in, but I... It's canvas board, so the edge of it can get dinged, and I don't want it to. Um, it's something that, that, if anything's going to damage it in shipping, that's really going to be the major culprit. The glassine is here because, um, I don't want anything to rub up against it and leave marks on the face. And so that'll protect it from that. Um, I am going to, I have, uh, one extra piece of cardboard that I'm going to cut to size to fit in. So... This is actually going to, this frame actually acts as like packing material for me. So if it doesn't survive the journey, it's no skin off anybody's nose. But if it does, she at least has a frame around it. And she can paint it however she wants and do whatever she wants to it. Um, but I love this painting that I did in Elephant Butte. It was this crazy morning. And I'll put up the image of the painting here. So the light at this place, so you you guys have heard me talk about Truth or Consequences New Mexico like over and over again probably, and you're sick of hearing it, but that and Elephant Butte, they kind of go together. This spot that I camped in, um, I kind of zoomed in on this perspective between the actual elephant and this other mesa, and it looks like an inlet there, and it's not an inlet, but it, well, it sort of is. Anyway, mm, digressing. I am in love with Kettle Top, and it's definitely an obsession for me. And I wanted to paint in, with my palette knife, and so I did this painting with my palette knife, and. The sky, the lighting that happens here is so ridiculous. The, the horizon over the mountains like gets to this pale shade of pink. And then the water is still like this like Caribbean blue. And it's crazy. And, and it was overcast. And it just, everything looked like glass. And except for the mountains and the way the light was playing off of everything. So... Yeah, and I think I captured that in this. I really enjoyed the process, and um, I'm really pleased that this person in particular is it's going to be hanging in their home. Um, yay! Well, I purchased the box that I used to go around this, but this extra piece came out of the shipping box that my canvases came in that I used for the show. And I did use that box for quite a bit of time and in the end gave it to the gallery as a storage box. You can see I basically just put the painting inside and use <clears throat> it as a guide. Now when I cut that first line, what I was doing was making a perforation that plunged straight through the top piece and into the second one to mark my line. 
a little trick I learned when making boxes in a commercial shop. You also see me putting tape underneath these splits. That's so that when I tape over the top of them, I don't actually put tape on the frame. Because you can see I didn't really put any packing material around it. I just used scrap pieces of the cardboard to protect the corners of the frame. Very simple. I find less is more. This is a canvas board, so it's sturdy. I wasn't worried about puncture. Plus, the front is protected by that other piece of cardboard. The frame was truly there as packing material. Now, when I pack up a piece of watercolor paper, it's a little simpler process. I wrap it up in a piece of mylar, and in this case, you see I then slid it back into, uh, I'm sorry, I wrap it up in a piece of glassine, and then slide it into the piece of mylar, and then I use boxes that I have left over from food, you know, the clean garbage. And I cut those up to make folders for the artwork and tape them inside. And usually include a note and slip it into a padded envelope. Those are the easiest way. And the same thing is going to go for this little prickly pear. And this is the acrylic on canvas. This one, I'm just going to wrap up in mylar and then put in its own little box and then slip it in. And that's how I pack up and get ready for the post office. And yeah, it does a little bit of a number on the hands, but it is what it is. And it's nice to be able to pack up three paintings together and send them out. Uh, going all over the country, which is kind of exciting. All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. If you want to support the journey, you can do so below. There's a Patreon, PayPal, there's Instagram if you want to purchase a painting, which is the preferred way of generating income. So check all those things out, and we'll see you next time, everybody.